All right, so welcome back to some more MX versus ATV Reflex. Today we're checking out this custom track now. Forgive me because this was actually in the game. I put this in the game a really long time ago before Reflex Central got really weird. And I think this track is called Arm Pump, I think, but I really do not remember who it was made by. And I should because this was like a, a big track, like a lot of people were playing this one. It's for me, it's like a 10 minute lap time. I know there's guys that can probably do like eight minute lap times, like really good players, but for like your average casual reflex player, it's like a 10 minute lap time. Anyways, I am so sorry, I don't know who made this. If someone knows or you know, whatever, put it down in the comments and I will pin that to the very top of the comment section because people deserve credit for the tracks that they make. And this is such a sick track, it is so amazing. I love the fact that it's. It's really long, okay? The first time I played it was like 12 minute lap times and I, I still crash. I crash a lot on this one lap that I do. And I don't, I kind of have the motocross part figured out, but the supercross part, it's kind of like half and half. I'd say about, I think I hit the supercross part of the track at around a little before five minutes. So it's, it's pretty even. And I don't really have the supercross track part memorized that well. I had the motocross part more memorized because I did it more. And the reason that I'm doing a post commentary on this, I was doing it live, but there's a, when we get to it, I'll show you. There's a section, there's actually two or three sections, but one in particular where if you crash, you get that endless reset kind of thing that happens. So uh, it, it can happen a few different places and it's no big deal. I mean, it's not something that I would, I mean, I don't do a track review or anything, but it's not something that was, I would say that would hurt the track or anything because I've seen that happen on a lot of different things too. So it, ha it usually happens like when you case into something or you're on one of those like a really steep part of the track that's kind of where it seems to to like to happen but anyways the track is amazing it is kind of a half and half like i already said uh, about five minutes on the motocross and then about five minutes on supercross and i'd say you could get through it a lot faster if you knew the supercross but like i said i redid the motocross part so many times because i kept hitting that spot and i keep crashing on the same spot and then it would keep resetting me endlessly and i had to restart the race so that's why I'm more familiar on the first part here. And I, that was actually the best I've ever gotten through that section. I don't know. I struggle. You can quad that, I think. But it kind of, it's like weird rhythm the rest of the way out. And I don't really know. There's a few different line choices. Like right here, I tried to get to the left. If you get to the left far enough here, you can jump like this whole thing. But it actually worked out good because then we could double down into the bottom here. And I, I already said it. I do crash quite a few times. I was trying my best not to. When I do these laps and stuff and try to do like three or four laps and you crash here a lot too somehow we got lucky and i didn't uh, i try really hard to get as clean a laps as possible but with my ability in the game which isn't super high very casual uh this is just kind of the best i could do and i came up short on a few things ex especially in the back on the super cross part and well here right here this is where i kind of kept crashing i was like trying to double off that and then i'd face into the next one case it and it would just give you that endless reset. So if you decide or if you find a way to get this track, because I don't know how you're going to, because I'm pretty sure I got, like I said, I'm pretty sure I got it off Reflex Central before Reflex Central decided to be not working the way it should be. If you find a way, or if you happen to have it and you haven't played it yet or something like that, that spot can be kind of tricky. And then there's another spot kind of coming down off, uh, maybe we're already past it. I don't really remember, but I did find another spot like that too. I think it was towards the beginning a little bit more and we're coming up on about four minutes so we're getting pretty close to the end of the the motocross part but I was actually live streaming I can't believe we don't we didn't crash there I can't believe it that's really not that bad but again I kind of I don't remember I don't have it memorized it's such a long track and I ran I think I ran two full races here not counting that I, I live stream reflex uh, a while ago by the time you see this video I'm sure it was months ago now but it would have been months ago I live stream reflex for the for the first time or probably the second time and I accidentally clicked on beta slot one and thought my game was gonna crash and then oh wow I guess I had a track in here and it was this one so again this is I believe it's called arm pump and I don't remember who it's by I am so sorry about that. I can't believe we crashed there either. Like, it's, I'm frustrated. Even though it's a post-commentary, I remember being like, just shaking my head like, I can't believe it. I can't believe that. We do that all the time. Even on the big jumps, you know, the little ones you can get by for sure. But that was frustrating. And it's, 
Let's see. Yeah, I think right here. I think this is getting into the Supercross part now. So we're at about 4 minutes and 45 seconds or so. And for me, it's 10 minute lap times. It'd be really cool, you know, to... And I know those guys out there. Like, I know there's... Uh, I know a couple people that... Uh, run like professional laps basically like they don't crash they can hit the huge lines they're really good at the the whip glitch now the whip glitch in this game isn't like i mean I'm, i can't i'm not really good at it either but it's not like supercross encore if you're familiar with that game it's less substantial it's not as big as that but guys that are really good at it can uh usually usually hit uh the big lines that i'm not capable of doing also the other part with problem with this part for me and it's just because I my lack of time on it, I, I suppose, is the fact that sometimes I wouldn't turn quite enough and then I'd counter like that. And then we kind of jumped off. We're lucky we just got reflex and I got a lot of reflex. I don't, actually don't think I crashed as much as I thought I did, but I kept getting reflex. And then with this track, since everything's so big and it's a really long track, when you get that reflex, it just ruins your flow. And I do come up short on quite a few things. Like right here, I kept thinking, there's a couple spots here in the back on the Supercross part where it's just like this little double going into a corner. And I didn't want to over jump it. I think that was another section where I just, I was letting off a lot. Thinking that, oh, okay, we're going to come into a corner here. So let's not get too crazy. Let's, you know, ease off a little bit. And it wasn't that. And then luckily I don't blow those corners, the ones that I was trying to to not hit oh we got so lucky a couple times that case almost on that triple we got super lucky but this was out of all the laps that i did this was the cleanest one i could find and you know whatever but a 10 minute lap time you know 10 minutes insane i don't know if there's longer tracks out there i mean not free ride ones that are actually uh because i know i think a lot of tracks when they're in beta they're not full release they're not like raceable i think I'm sure this this should be raceable. It, I think it'd be a lot of fun. And the laps don't they don't feel that long. I mean, now kind of coming back to it, doing commentary over it, it's like it, it feels kind of long to me. But when I'm actually playing it, it didn't feel like 10 minutes. I mean, it, it felt long. Don't get me wrong, but maybe it's the fact that everything was so new. You know, nothing's really the same, and it's just so different from anything that I've ever played. I mean, I'm not big, big, big into the Reflex community or custom tracks or anything like that, so I've missed out on a lot of great things made by a lot of awesome people, but, you know, if uh, out of the ones that I've done, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is this was the longest one I've ever done, and I, like I said, I know that Arm Pump was a big track uh, when it came out, and again, if somebody knows, I keep saying it because sometimes maybe you don't hear me, but... Uh, if somebody does know who makes this track, please put it down in the comments so I can pin that to the to the top of the comment section so they can get credit for it because this is awesome. This is just absolutely insane, awesome, runs smooth, looks good, has a great flow to it, and to just have the the creativity to to make a 10 minute track, you know, and have it work so good. And I mean, I'm sure it was just tons and tons of testing and checking to see and making sure everything had a good flow to it but just to make a 10 minute you know lap time that never got old nothing repeated itself too much the rhythm sec sections were just right i know i don't hit them very good we kind of i mean like that section we kind of turned it into big whoops but if you actually ran the track more than two or three times like i did and had everything memorized it has an amazing flow and like i said i'm sure there's people out there that can run well under 10 minute lap times that can just hit every section perfect with, without crashing but that's the other tough thing about it is you know the shorter tracks it's a lot easier to get a good lap without the mistakes it's just shorter even if it's a tough track but when you have a track this long it's really hard to to get through it without making any mistakes whether that's not crashing or not getting reflex or whatever um, I'm assuming it would take even a few runs for even the best reflex guys. This is just assuming. I really don't know. I'm just making assumptions. But I mean, even assuming for them, it might take a few runs to get that really good perfect lap because it's it's just such a long track. It's so long. But also, let me don't know down in the comments if there is another track as long or longer than this one because I'd be curious. But we're closing up on the end of the the lap. And we're only doing one, and let's see if we can get 10 minutes or less. It's going to be close. I'm not going to say, but it'll be pretty close. And there was one of the sections where I didn't want to overjump too much. And then we ruined this one, which kind of hurt our lap time. But 
I think that's about it. Um, like I said, just one lap, and thank you so much for the support on the Reflex series. It really means a lot. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. And until the next video, take it easy.